the Hamish and Andy Show podcast. Powered by Amy. Lucky you're with Amy. Right. right. It's time to get down to business. With your help, Hamish and Andy are covering off on every topic in the world. And right now, there is no topic more important than... Trampolines. Before you do a skerrick of work today, make sure you know all there is to know about... Trampolines. When we talk business, we talk... Trampolines. I'm Peter Harvey, this is Hamish and Andy's Business Brunch, and business starts now. Good morning, everyone. Hamish and Andy with you. Spectacles on, monocles on, uh, even magnifying glasses if you can't see very well. But shoes off, guys. Mum said, if you're going to go on the trampoline, no shoes. It tears the mat. Dad's not buying a new one. One topic per day we do, uh, Ham, on the business brunch. Today's topic is, of course, trampolines. Now, that little role play I just uh, treated everyone to is something that trampoline kids would know. Yeah. I tell you, you are not a trampoline kid, Ando. No. Grew up in a trampolineless household. Yes. Did you yearn for a tramp? I would try and make friends with the occasional tramp owner when I was at school, and I did yearn for one. Tramp owner means such a different thing these days <laughs> than it did in the 1800s. <laughs> and we would we would let you come over. I'm sure we would let you bounce on our trams, yep. use it as the automatic wicket keeper yep. in the uh, backyard. That was cricket. important. Yeah. Yeah, we were we had a lot of fun. We were good kids. Well, hey, we were I mean, great kids. So we're a great breed. <laughs> As we talk about other uses for trampolines, uh, an email came in and she wants a pencil. <laughs> and, I'll be the judge of that. And she feels like it could be a pencil of honour. Okay, yeah. might, we might award a pencil of honour. A business brunch p- pencil. She said she was driving... Uh, sorry, T. Nathan, uh, company man Nathan, wrote in. He said, I was driving along a few months ago. I saw a trampoline as a makeshift gate in someone's driveway as yep. the gate had f- uh, fence had fallen over. I proudly turned to my dad and said, look, that house has its own bouncer. bouncer. Mm, felt like it was a... Saw it coming. <laughs> Jez. Web guy Jez. He's shaking his head. <laughs> Snap a pencil in half, send it to him. <laughs> it's Hamish and Andy's Business Brunch. Hamish and Andy with you. We do one topic per day on the business show, Ham. And today's topic is, of course... <laughs> <laughs> when did we start going at the business show? <laughs> well, the business brunch show, but I yeah, shortened The biz show. The biz- yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, uh, and today's topic is trampoline. So much correspondence, hamishnetty.com forward slash topics. Uh, 85 to 90% of them would have been accidents. Accidents and yeah. injuries. And a lot of people pointing out that the trampoline is the home of the accident that looks horrific. Yeah. But people walk away from it. <laughs> you do. Uh, if anyone, you know, I was a tramp kid, you yeah. knew tramp kids, so you tramped over at their house. Not a lot. Not but as much as you. It was, I can't remember kids just their spines landing on it, you know, <laughs> hearing audible cracks, seeing their spine for a bit. But then once you got onto the grass, gave it a rub, you know, you'd walk away. People disappearing through the springs, just inhuman things. Yeah. But you always did seem to be able to walk away from the tramp accident with a bit of a laugh. <laughs> we should get into fast beers here. There's so much to get through. Top, top three, top top three. three emails. <laughs> Number three. Number Three. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Ando, hmm. I, tell me if you think this happened. Okay. Um, company man Oliver has written in gone, when I was younger I had a trampoline and one day there were gale force winds that caused our trampoline to blow three or four houses over. No. Okay. <laughs> well, one house. But we were not there at the time. <laughs> Rested up again. After two fit. days of being home, my sister said, hey, where's the trampoline? <laughs> Turns out it was in our neighbour's backyard. They were using it. My dad said they could keep it because we never used it. <laughs> a bit of a so, dad going yeah. somewhere else. It's found a new home. Well, dad, it's a runaway tramp. This is how I feel about how this has gone in. The dad's gone to the neighbours. We're going away. You can come and borrow the tramp. Yeah. Or the kids are annoying me. Yeah. You can have this trampoline. I like your kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you come home and go, you never believe it. There was a twister. <laughs> But all the houses are intact. Yet it was powerful enough to blow a trampoline four houses down. What would that have looked like from next door? Jeez, look at those trampoline flying clear over our property. And the next one, it is windy. Number two. Hey, um, number two, uh, company lady Emily. Young business lady, probably a young Doogie Howser type type to be at this board meeting. 14 years of age. Says, my mum won't let me have a trampoline. Oh. Because... This is great, I reckon. We live in an apartment. No. <laughs> That'd be a good answer. Because she said it's something I look forward to when I go to my friends' houses. 
Not playing with the friends. So, she, no, she's saying, yeah, exactly, not playing with So, sort the of friends. like, keep it special. <laughs> keep it special for friends' houses, otherwise you mightn't go to your friend's house. Yeah. If, I don't think that works. I'm trying to think of what you've got at your house that I look forward to coming over <laughs> and playing with. Um, got a table tennis table. Yeah, but you have one of them. Yeah, we had one for five years and we got rid of it. Yeah. So it's more of a re- retro <laughs> feel when I go there. Anyway, she goes in to say, now I look got like- nice bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, but-, but I don't look forward to it. <laughs> like I didn't save up my poops. <laughs> Do you want me to? No, no thanks. <laughs> Says I now look like an idiot because I go around there and bounce for ages while my friend's just on her phone. <laughs> oh, how old is she? <laughs> okay. Which is true yeah. of something when, and I remember when I was a kid, even it was a Sega Mega Drive, Nintendo. Yeah, it was, it was fun at someone else's house. You go to someone else's house, but you'd always say that key phrase. You, get you to can play use it all, all the time. time, David. Let me play Doom. <laughs> Number one. And a uh, mm. uh, company lady, Carly, is written in, and she writes, It's a tale of woe. As a kid, my siblings and I asked for a trampoline for Christmas for five years oh, in wow. a row. Yep. To this day, we're still trampoline-free. She's now 22. Jeez. Uh, we never got the puppy we asked for either. Joining us on the line, I thought we'd get Carly up. Yeah. Uh, Carly, it seems like your Christmas wishes were highly ineffective. What Did you get anything? <laughs> We did actually. Um, not the big stuff. Not so. We. Um, I remember getting a swim set when we were when I was probably uh, six, maybe for Christmas. We okay. got a really nice big swim set, but we never got the trampoline yeah, or the puppy. Asking for five years in a row mm. is a very dedicated yeah, request. Um, request. What kind yeah. of by, by year four? What was the mood like? <laughs> were you it thinking was- surely this year? <laughs> Well, I'm the oldest of four, so between all four of us every year saying, can we have a trampoline for Christmas, you kind of hope that eventually they just give in. So it's 20 20 requests. (laughs) It's 20 requests for a trampoline. (laughs) What was the reason given for no tramp? Um, at the time, nothing, but because um, we still bring it up now, of course. So my parents now claim it was a safety reason because yeah, right. um, my youngest, my younger sister, who's now eighteen, she was kind of um, a bit accident prone. Yeah, okay. So Did- they didn't really want to spend five days a week at the emergency room. Would you find out on the day, or would they say no before the day? So is it? Uh, we'd have to wait till Christmas morning and then be like, <laughs> "There's no trampoline." Follow the ribbon outside, and Pretty then much. the ribbon goes back inside to just a new <laughs> pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Half Carly. one, Carly. Well, good luck. Hang in there. Ask again. We'll ask yeah. on your behalf this year. Best of luck. It's the business Thank brunch. Thank you, guys. Hamish and Andy. Thanks, Carly. See you, mate. Hey, um, the business brunch is all about one topic at a time, and we thoroughly explore it, and then we put a big black mark through it, never to come back to it, unless there's a few things hanging off. Sure, you might. Uh, <laughs> but um, We've got a lot of topics to get through, but yeah, trampolines. Today, trampolines, mm. and I don't think you can discuss trampolines without talking about the topic of double bouncing. Oh, yeah. If you are on a trampoline with another person, mm. this is the premium skill you need. And that's why when trampolining was briefly an Olympic sport... Mm. They didn't let people go on in pairs mm. because the power of the double, double bounce, bounce, especially in the Olympic level, yeah. could put someone in orbit. Mm. If you've not been on a trampoline and you don't know how to double bounce, you're essentially trying to time your bounce with the other person's. Mm. You can suck the power from their bounce and you can bounce very, very high. And sometimes if you're a professional, uh, as I was as a kid on the trampoline, you can yell, smell my socks as (laughs) as your feet go past your brother's face. You don't have to yell yell that. You can just enjoy going very high. Or or you can send them high and you sort of stop on the mat. Normally it's the person that's that's come down first that's about to double bounce the other person. Isn't yeah. It? If you're late to, to the it. game. You've got to feel it out. Yeah, yeah. But it's, 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 it's a transfer of power. At a scary height you'd reach. Good fun. Because normally, uh, yeah. yeah. Don't normally. do it under the big gum tree if you're at my old house. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> you could hit the branches. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful mm. talent. But I can actually, here's something I've never shared with you. Okay. I can actually do verbal double bouncing. What? What's that? I can verbally double bounce someone in conversation. Well, how, how would that work? Well, if I say a word at, at the same time as someone, mm-hmm. then they say the word louder, like involuntarily, or they, they say it more amplified, and my word goes quiet because I sort of donate the power to the other person. That can't work. No, it does. No, it doesn't because you have no control of the person talking. talking. Hey. Yeah, see? Yeah. But that Impossible. No, I was going to say annoying. annoying. Whoa. Whoa. How did you do it? Well, I've always been able to. I actually have always been able to. It's sort of kind of timing, kind of instinct, maybe a little bit of magic, Andy. Well, I doubt it's magic. magic. It's probably just, just the acoustics in here. And somehow, 
you're able to manipulate, manipulate it. Well, Andy, I'm telling you it's magic. It is a magical skill I have. I'm verbally double bouncing you. Okay, Ham, it's, it's just not magic. magic. See? Oh, that's weird. It didn't work that time. No, it didn't work because I'm not, not. shouting oh. as I see your lips, lips. move. So, yeah. hang on, what? Yeah, you I, were doing it? Yeah, I was doing it. Of course, of course. I was doing it. And you can stop, stop. <laughs> trying to do it now. I was just trying to make you feel better because you're excited. No. Excited. Yeah. Hang on. So what? You, you, were, you, you were just yelling when I, you just yelled when yeah. you saw me say the word. Mm. Sorry. So I can't verbally double bounce people. No. I thought it was weird. I thought it was a weird ability to be yeah. able to have. Yeah. Do you want to see me do a verbal cartwheel? No. Hamishnay.com forward slash topics if you want to check out any of the topics there and add. It's the only way into this show. Hey, company lady Belinda did exactly that. And she writes, what else do I have to say about trampolines other than Hamish rocks at doing backflips on them? I get this a lot. End of Thank topic. In, in, <laughs> end of topic in capital. Cheers. We should have actually written a program to filter out all those emails and just <laughs> pop them in a little envelope. I'll get round to writing back to everyone. Thanks for your acknowledgement. Of course, everyone will remember that about a year and a half ago, I did one backflip. Yeah. So thanks. For um, your- if for people who don't, yeah, you I think were, people might. You were. Uh, ha- about 108 kilos at one point, which made you tramp. I think it was 105-ish. <laughs> we went bungee jumping once, you and I, for a bit of fun, and they write your weight on the back of your hand. Yeah. And when Andy's sitting there giving me a thumbs up with 90 on his hand, and I've got 105 <laughs> flat, that's when you know that this is this is the beginning of the end. If you don't do something about this now, and then when we found out you can't go on a trampoline unless you're under 100. Yeah. I just suddenly had a vision of me spilling out over a banana lounge, yeah. watching my children bouncing on the trampoline going, Dad, Dad, you lazy piece of dirt. We will never respect you because you can't play with us on, on the, the trampoline. Tram. Jump on me, kids. Yeah. Now you might feel it. I won't. I'm all fat. <laughs> so in Endeavour, I think it was two months you tried to become tramp legal. Huge yeah. success. Yeah. Um, you got uh, down to 95, well under the hundo mark, yeah. or something like that. I had starved myself that day. And, <laughs> and <laughs> starved myself, went to the toilet before the way. <laughs> On the last show of 2011, you successfully did a backflip because you declared, if I go tramp legal, legal mm. I'll celebrate with a backflip. As uh, company lady Belinda said, what else do I have to say about trampolines other than Hamish rocks doing backflips on them? I agree to that statement when in, in 2011, mm-hmm. particularly the month of December. Yep. I worry about that statement now because I'm not convinced mm-hmm. that you'd still be able to do it. How no, I don't many think ha- you need to worry about it because ha- I, I, let's refocus on her email. How many have Why don't you we done just since? Have a- <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we make this segment just reminiscing and applause? How many backflips have you done since? I've thought about them from time to time. I haven't actually done a backflip <laughs> since then. You don't really need to. Do you think you could still do one? Because you did at the start of this segment talk about how many people emailing it about this. <laughs> you know, they they say you never forget. <laughs> Who says <laughs> elephants never forget how to do <laughs> backflips? <laughs> I think is the saying. And this elephant. If I had a trampoline here or close no, enough, no, by, you can't do it here. Well, not inside, but a trampoline uh, close enough by. We've got your old flipping suit. Oh, Remember you no. did it in a, a yeah, leopard leotard? Yeah, did it year. in a leopard leotard. That's a very long story we're not going to go into, <laughs> yeah. but I did do it as a leopard. Would you attempt one for the good of Belinda? Do you want to drive to the old, mm. the old flipping ground? <laughs> we do have, there is a gymnasium nearby. I've, I've asked them. They're available. Oh, great. Oh, good, good. <laughs> so available. this isn't as spur of the moment as you're making out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, Would- no, I'll give it another flip. Yeah, you'd flip it? I'll flip for you. <laughs> You're like a bloody trained monkey, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really am. Well, I have a tail and I'm flipping for your amusement. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to go to a break, but we'll jump in the car and, and hopefully- It is scary being upside down. Within the next 15 minutes or so, you'll be back in your old flipping ground. It's where you learnt to flip. Yep. Matt will be there, your flipping ah, flipping master. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Hamish will attempt another flip. After 16 months off the ground. <laughs> Can he equal his record of one sloppy flip? <laughs> it's Hamish and Andy's Business Brunch. Wow. It's Hamish and Andy, the Business Brunch. Uh, one topic per day. Um, and uh, at the moment, Ham, the topic is, of course, trampolines. Mm. 
We are driving. Um, we're actually about to pull up. I regret that our studio is so close to... What are the chances of us being this close <laughs> to a multi-sports and gymnastics centre? <laughs> yeah. This came. This bit me on the bum a year and a half ago, and it's biting me on the bum again. Because if this was two hours away, yeah, that is you'd no never way. do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I've just challenged him to see whether he can um, do... A backflip again. Uh, regulars of this, this, sh- this show would know that uh, some 14, 15 months ago, Ham, yeah. you uh, came down to trampoline a trampoline weight that was legal, yeah. under 100 kilos. It was a wake-up call. I was 104 yeah. kilos, and yeah. I realised I wasn't allowed to be on trampolines, and that's <laughs> yeah. the beginning of the end. And to celebrate that, you said, if I get below 100, I'll do a backflip on a trampoline. Mm. You managed to pull that off. I got trained, though, didn't I? Yes. And I was really in the zone back then. I feel like I've left the zone. This is a bit like Muhammad Ali being called out to fight nowadays. You know, <laughs> well, I'm a retired great. Well, yeah. I think it's it might be. He, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> he, you know, he started humble. He put the hours in. Yeah. He had a lot of natural talent that mm. he refined. Yeah. And, I, um, so far, don't see any difference between me and Ali. Uh, well, we're going to head inside. Haim, you got your flipping suit that we've found. Uh, found the flipping suit. And um, we'll see, without any practice, whether Haim can pull off. So I don't get a trial jump? No trial jumps. It's first just, attempt. Yeah, first attempt. Can you do Is it still within flip? Muhammad? Yeah. We'll see. We are in the uh, same gymnastics auditorium as yep. Hamish first learned to do backflip. This is my office. <laughs> backflip. This is my office. It seemed, was it only 18 months ago, was it? Because I've been flipping everywhere since then. Again, it brings back a lot of memories, Ando. As you walk in here and there's a lot of gymnastics classes around girls, young girls, maybe five or six years old. Yep. A lot of respectful laughter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you uh, when, flipping suit on? When they see my leotard, they see my leopard leotard yeah. and the tail. A lot of respectful giggles. Um. And that's a, that's a real honour to be back uh, and mentoring these youngsters. It's your, if it's your first time to doing business with us at the Business Brunch, uh, it was Friday, December 2nd, 2011, the last radio show of that year where Hamish was challenged to get trampoline legal some month beforehand. <laughs> he was about two months to lose the weight. <laughs> he was over, I think, about 104 kilos at your biggest. Dollar four. A dollar four. <laughs> <laughs> and change. <laughs> and uh, came in, weighted at 95. 95 so cents. T- 95 great cents. deal, great bargain. And um, then... Uh, you said if you were tramp legal, if you got down under a hundo, you would then do a backflip. The backflip was relatively successful. You got round. Pretty good. I don't. I seem to remember a crowd going absolutely nuts. <laughs> Your landing wasn't as great as your coach would have Mate, loved. It's, but hey. it's like the it's like when the NASA astronauts came back. Mm. Yeah, we would have loved them to do a flip and land on their feet, yeah. but they splashed into the ocean. No one cares. <laughs> yeah. You still did your job. <laughs> it's similar to a NASA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, splash down. I just go for splash downs. <laughs> uh, a slight over rotation from memory, but yes, definitely a backflip. I asked him today because <laughs> he reckoned he could still do it. So surprised we still had the suit at the station. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've got leggings on because I don't know who's been in this leotard. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, yeah. it's a no undies suit too, yeah. so I've popped leggings on. I'm a leopard in leggings. Yeah, good. Um, hey, anything you need to know before? <sighs> yeah, you- there's only one thing I need to know: okay. how to do a flip again. I'm just going to go over here to my flip sensei Matt. 18 months ago, you took a rough piece of clay and you moulded it into the leopard you see now before you, Matt. Is it great to be back in this moment? Absolutely. I think your tail's got a bit longer, but yeah, I think we should be right. Hey, Matt, um, last time, I mean, he's thinner again than he mm. was last time. Do you reckon that means he's bound to over rotate even further? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. The lighter you are, the faster you spin. Ooh. Could I do too? <laughs> 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 Anything's possible. Anything is possible. No, it's not. Okay, so hey, what what else do you need to ask about? Oh, just how to do it again. So what? What? So I remember, like, we bounce with our arms up, and then you you go one, two, three. You take off. Then what happens next? You sort of bring the knees in. You want to um, rotate over the knees over your head. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you want to uh, rotate at the top of the jump. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not at the yep. bottom. Not at the bottom, no. no. You want to get into the rotation pretty quick. Yes, yes. Get so the you- height first, then rotate second. Open okay. out, land, and hopefully it's all good. Yeah, that's a theory, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, it's been a little while since I did the flip. And that's the part, that's what makes this so exciting today, mate. And, and, oh. and people in my street, they've got a, a big house and in their front yard, mm. 
over the road, the kids have a trampoline, and I almost snuck over there and did a little practice <laughs> after I did the flip, uh, but I didn't, okay. and I haven't done one since. Oh, look, all the girls are lined up. This is exciting. To learn from okay. the master. <laughs> all right, I'll take the microphone off you. Um, I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, we'll, I'm not we're ready. We're running out of time. The yeah. show's about to finish. Okay, so just, just, a, a, just a dry run. <laughs> so Hames like bouncing, one, bouncing, two, bouncing. three, and then we're into it. Matt's just giving him a little bit of advice, saying get your knees up towards your hands, don't bring your hands down to your legs. This all seems like absolute gobbledygook. I don't think Hames taking do any of it in. You do a quick one. <laughs> oh, okay, you got to watch what I... do a quick one. Okay, Hames has come off the trampoline. Matt's just there to show... Yeah, jeez, he doesn't well. Yeah, Matt just did one off a standing start. <laughs> Okay, um, we're putting on a head cam, <laughs> which I'm not sure is necessary. Is um, that going to affect my head speed, Matt? Just keep your head straight. Yeah, okay. Okay. head straight. Don't throw your head backwards. Let's bloody do this. Okay, good luck out there, Ham. Kids, flip, 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 flip. As 45-year-olds cheer on. Oh, he's done. Oh, <laughs> he's done it again. Let's hear it, kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> Kids aren't really joining in. <laughs> Hames running across, telling them to high five his flip and tail. He went a bit quick. I would have preferred a better build up. He's got over, but we were right, Matt. The less weight, the over rotation. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, he nearly he did he did one and a half. He almost did one and a half. Anything's possible. <laughs> How did you feel that went? I oh, loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us. So we've got time for oh. this business brunch. HamishNetty.com forward slash topic if you want to join in. Been a pleasure doing business with you. And HamishNetty.com, of course, video of the flip will be up very, very shortly. It's been good fun. Yeah, Do you want to have a go? I'll be right, guys. No, they're scary. <laughs> that was the Hamish and Andy Show podcast, powered by Amy. Lucky you're with Amy. <laughs>